just going to blow one up now. I'm Elliot Walker. I'm a glass sculptor working from London Glass Blowing. I've been blowing glass for about five years, uh, working for different studios and different companies. After that, I got employed by Peter Layton at London Glass Blowing Studio to come and make work for him. Alongside this, I've been producing my own body of work, which is figurative sculpture out of solid glass. So the technique I use to make my sculptures is called uh, Marcello, an Italian technique taking um, a mass of molten glass from the furnace, the same way as a glass blower does, but instead of actually inflating it into a bubble, I use a set of tools, very specialist tools, to actually form the, the sculpture out of this moving molten piece of glass. It's really good to be involved in this studio. There's loads of great artists working for Peter, so we are employed by him um, to help him sort of realise his designs but at the same time we get a lot of studio access for ourselves and a lot of time to experiment and really sort of push the boundaries of our own work and that's what the studio thrives on. And a lot of the pieces that I do are based on sort of dancing figures and figures stretching. I'm just really focusing on the movement of the body at the minute and glass is a really good medium to do that in because it's so liquid and, and flowing so you can twist the piece as you're making it and it twists very naturally. Yeah, the most recent um, commission that I had, there were a weightlifting group called the Heavy Mob and their emblem was the, the discobolus, the, the discus thrower, the Greek sculpture and so I had to make a version of that. And what I'd really like to focus on with commissions is, is site specific work. They're not functional pieces, it's not a glass vessel, it's a sculpture made of glass and someone wants to really sort of think outside the box and have this piece made for their home, then that's the sort of thing that I'm looking to do. I'd like to, to really have the opportunity to move my work in another direction and that's what I'm most excited about doing is, is getting challenged by people, so people who have different ideas to, from me, um, giving me something that I've never made before and that I don't even know how to make and we can work through it together by like having pictures sent to me, colours, samples sent to me. Um, and really sort of changing my work about and pushing the boundaries. And just, you get addicted very quickly to glass making because there are so many issues and problems with it. Every time you make a piece and it goes wrong, as soon as you've finished, you want to get back in the bench and make another one. And so the, the amount of times that you fail sort of pushes you on.